evening, my name is Diane Evertson and I am that young woman from Harvard. I'm a parent as some of you are and as such I learned early on that children can teach you a lot. I also learned that the instinct to protect our kids, right, wrong, or indifferent, is extremely strong. Over the course of time, some of us learned more quickly than others. We found that if we continued to protect our kids from the ramifications of improper behavior, the behavior actually grew worse. During the natural evolution from child to adult, poorly behaved children became poorly behaved adults. Smart parents discovered that kids must learn to take responsibility for their behavior. Our offspring discovered that they had to become accountable when their parents would no longer protect them from the consequences of their unacceptable behavior, whether that behavior happened to be merely irritating or wholly illegal. We've all tried to make our own excuses for everything. From I don't know it was wrong, my friends made me do it, everybody else does it, all my friends have one and I have one too, and on and on. We've all been there. Now, of course, we are adults dealing with adults who make the mistake of excusing things that adults do who have engaged in improper behaviors. Those who sneak across our borders to enter our country illegally or overstay their visa in defiance of our laws are more than happy to engage in childlike excuses to rationalize their unacceptable behavior. There is a constant barrage of excuses including a desire for a better life, no human is illegal, it's our continent, it's for the children, which happens to be my favorite, and now it's a moral thing. Families shouldn't be divided. Let me assure you, there is no moral imperative demanding that American citizens allow others to break our laws and rape our economy. Quite the contrary, our national rule of law demands compliance through an orderly immigration policy already in place. Our prisons are filled with Americans who have given birth to or fathered children and parenthood does not excuse one from obeying our laws nor does it allow one to continue to break our laws with impunity. Adults must be responsible for their decisions and their behavior and accept the consequences. The continuation of illegal aliens in America to rape our economy and take advantage of our education and health care systems is unconscionable. Remittances from the United States now stand at $55 billion. That's $55 billion which is not invested in this country, $55 billion which is not spent in this country, and therefore no sales taxes are spent. A Wall Street Journal article which I just gave you, dated November 1st, indicates how these remittances are creating a further welfare state in Mexico. While illegals send their money home, the Mexican government is not being called upon to be accountable for their economy, nor is the money being used for renewed infrastructure or long-term investment in that country. Members of this village board who recognize their roles of leadership understand that criminals will always try to make their mistake someone else's fault and someone else's responsibility. Just as the smart parent will refuse to continually protect an errant child in the best interests of the child, smart leadership recognizes illegal aliens try to use emotional arguments to excuse their behavior, and the true leader refuses to buy into that program. Thus far, the majority of this board has recognized the need for law enforcement regardless of excuses, and I commend you for it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.